Good morning. Today we're looking at examples 3 and 4, profit and break even, of section 2.2, modeling revenue costs and profit. We're told that the demand price is 15 minus Q over 1,000, and the cost has a fixed cost of 1,000 and a per unit cost of 8. We'd like to produce a table of price, revenue, cost, and profit. We'd like to plot the profit, and then we'd like to find the break-even points. So we start out with an Excel worksheet that has a table of quantities, a formula for the demand price, a formula for the cost. The revenue is going to be the demand price times the quantity, and the profit is going to be equal to the revenue minus the cost. At this point, we can undo the formulas. We fill in our table. I now want to plot. I'm going to select the quantity column. I'm also going to select profit. I'd like to now insert a scatter plot, and this gives me the profit being able to see it. I'm interested in where it hit zero. Those are the break-even points. On this example, I can look at the break-even points and see those happen at 2,000 and 5,000, so I need to bring my cost down to 13, so I sell 2,000, and I want to keep my cost at least 10 which means I'm going to produce no more than 5,000. If we had not been so lucky as to have the two places where profit shows up, I'm going to look and say roughly 1,500. I'm intentionally making a bad guess. And roughly 5,500 are places where I expect the profit to be zero. I simply now go into data and goal seek. I'm going to do my what-if analysis. I would like my profit to be zero by changing the quantity. And we see that happens at 2,000. I'm going to do the same thing again. What-if analysis, goal seek. I'd like profit to be zero by changing quantity, A22. And again, it says 5,000, and so that gives me the two break-even points. Thank you.